Hey guys, welcome back to Uncover Skincare. Long time no see, it's been a while. I should have left you, left you without a dope beat to step to, but we're back. My name is Patricia Kihora and I'm your host here on Uncover Skincare where we share information that we have learned along the way to help on our skincare journey to beautiful, healthy skin. That's the goal, healthy skin that we love and that we deserve. So without further ado, let's go into today's topic, which is exfoliation. This is the kind of information that you would love to get to know more about make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell <laughs> and to share these videos if they are meaningful and impactful to you so like I said without further ado let's get into today's skincare topic which is exfoliation so what is exfoliation if you have been on a skincare journey or if you've been into skincare or even just research the basics of skincare I'm pretty sure you have encountered this term exfoliation exfoliation is basically removing the top layer of dead or unhealthy skin cells to reveal the healthy fresh bright skin cells underneath why do we exfoliate one so that we can have smoother skin two so that products can absorb better into our skin and three for that glow. There are two types of exfoliation. One is physical exfoliation, which is using actual physical force to remove the top dead layer of skin cells. So physical exfoliation is where you use actual physical force and you can do this by using one, products that have say granules or hard particles that can gently <laughs> um, remove those um, dead skin cells so this could be granules seed particles this could be sugar this could be coffee grinds basically any particles that are within a product that you can sort of rub onto your skin and in that motion they gently loosen up the dead skin cells and release them so that you can reveal the skin underneath so that's physical exfoliation one using the granules or two using tools such as a washcloth a sponge a brush a sonic brush or um you know like a like a foreo the silicone um thing <laughs> i don't even know what to call it but yeah you can use tools that do the scrubbing for you and with the scrubbing motion it loosens up the dead skin cells and releases them to reveal the fresh beautiful skin underneath so that's physical exfoliation I have used pretty much everything you could think of from the scrubs um, coffee grinds I have used sugar I have used even salt or bicarbonate of soda I have used the washcloths I have used the sponges um, I even had a cognac sponge at some point I have used the sonic brush used the foreo tool as well so I have tried all sorts of physical exfoliation and um, yeah that's something that I used to do in the past then moved on to the second form of exfoliation now for a lot of people the word chemical seems like a harmful or scary um, thing to venture into but I'm here to say that it's actually the gentler way to exfoliate your skin the word chemical is not bad basically what it means is just that it's products that are still in their liquid form but they do dissolve this the dead skin cells themselves to reveal the fresh healthy skin underneath so instead of using something that will physically scrub off the dead skin cells the chemical exfoliation will sort of just dissolve um, the dead skin cells and it's gentler because there's no scratching there's no scrubbing there's no chance of micro tears however you have to be very careful with the strength of the chemical exfoliant because some of them if they're too strong might burn your skin so both physical and chemical exfoliation have their pros and they have their cons the pros for physical exfoliation is that when used correctly it can be slightly less irritating than chemical exfoliants um, and it's instantaneous you sort of see the results instantly uh, the cons though are that there's a risk of causing micro tears in your skin which is what makes them harmful for you because if you scrub too strongly or too roughly or you know use products that are quite sharp they'll cause micro tears in your skin and eventually as much as instantly you're going to feel like it's smoother those micro tears are then going to 
form some scars and then you end up having rougher skin anyway chemical exfoliation however the chemicals in the products themselves are dermatologically tested and so they are proven to be safe for use um, at home although you can also go to a dermatologist or an esthetician to do a stronger chemical exfoliation at their offices or at their premises which is called a chemical peel um, but over the years people have been developing products with mild chemical exfoliants that you can use at home it's safe it's not irritating and as much as the results are not instantaneous depending on the strength it can be you know from day from the next day you can see results but over time you will get to see the results and honestly i prefer chemical exfoliation because it's proven to be gentler and the results for me last longer and it's not as irritating there's no chance of micro tears and yeah those are the pros the cons, however, is that with improper use, if you use maybe um, a strength that's too high or you use it too often, it can result in burning or hyperpigmentation. So you have to be very careful with the kinds of chemical exfoliants that you use and you have to be very, very careful to use them exactly as stated on their containers. Say that The newly toner pads, they do have BHAs and PHAs, so you can use these for exfoliation and the fact that they are pads give you a mild um, sort of experience as well so these are great I've used them and I've been using them for months and they're so gentle they cause no irritation whatsoever and you, know, you can use them over time to get the results that you want like I'm so happy with my skin right now these newly toner pads are great especially if it's your first time trying out chemical exfoliation I hope those tips and tricks make you feel a bit more confident about delving into the world of chemical exfoliation do let us know down below what exfoliation method do you use do you use physical do you use chemical what's your experience been with it let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video don't forget to comment to like to share to subscribe to the channel if this is information that is useful to you and yeah <laughs> let us know also what more you would like to learn or to hear from us in the comments below i'll see you in the next video my name is patricia bye